epinephrine is an important medication to know because it is an adrenergic agonist. Okay, what does that mean? Well, once we're talking about adrenergics, we're starting to talk about our sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight response, and understanding all of that really helps you understand hemodynamics, neurofunction, respiratory function. It really plays a role in, in almost everything that we're talking about. So when we talk epinephrine, trade name is adrenaline or EpiPen. And the indication for epinephrine is going to be asthma, COPD exasperation, allergic reactions, cardiac arrest, and it can also be used as an anesthesia adjunct. But like I said, it is an adrenergic agonist as a pharmacologic class. And what does that mean? Well, adrenergic agonists are drugs that stimulate a response from adrenergic receptors. And our adrenergic receptors are targets of catecholamines or, you know, for example, norepinephrine and epinephrine. Now we have these adrenergic receptors all throughout our body, okay? And binding of one of these catecholamines means, for example, epinephrine will stimulate a sympathetic nervous system response. Okay, and the SNS or the sympathetic nervous system is what is responsible for our flight or flight responses. Now, you should understand this and know this from your anatomy courses and everything, but fight or flight really refers to the reactions like the widening of the pupils, the increasing in energy, and the decreasing of blood flow to non-essential organs, and then pushing it to skeletal muscle. So we'll see an increase in our heart rate, decrease in digestion, and we'll have really this increase in the, the bronchodilation, the increase in heart rate, and all those things will occur when we have this binding of a catecholamine to one of these adrenergic receptors. So really, it, it has an effect on both beta-1, beta-2, and it also has an alpha agonist properties. And all this will result in this bronchodilation, the increase in heart rate and blood pressure. So some of the reasons it's given, remember, we went, let's go back to why it's given. Asthma and COPD, we're going to have that bronchodilation. For this allergic reactions and cardiac arrest, uh, you know, we can give this medication. It's also used quite often as a vasopressor, okay? It's going to constrict our vessels, help to increase our blood pressure uh, in patients who need assistance from vasopressors. So with all this in mind, let's talk about what you need to keep in mind as a nurse. First of all, what you really need to keep in mind is you need to keep in mind what is going to occur with the sympathetic nervous system stimulation, okay? You really need to keep in mind that we're going to increase our blood pressure, our heart rate. We're going to lead to bronchodilation. So you really need to be assessing, assessing your hemodynamics very closely, especially if you're giving this as a drip, as a vasopressive drip. You really need to have your patient hooked up to continuous monitoring where you can closely monitor monitor blood pressure uh, and titrate the medication accordingly. If a patient uses epinephrine excessively, it can actually lead to bronchospasm. So if a patient, for example, is has an EpiPen and they use it too often, more than they should, it can lead to bronchospasm, which can be very detrimental to their respiratory status. Some of the side effects of this use are going to be angina, tachycardia, hypertension, restlessness, nervousness, and hyperglycemia. So think about all those effects of that sympathetic nervous system, that fight or flight response. Uh, they're going to have palpitations, possibly angina, the restlessness. They're going to get very anxious. So you want to monitor your patient for chest pain. And it's really important to let your patient know that if they are using it as like an EpiPen or something at home, uh, that they shouldn't use other stimulus, things like caffeine or guarana. And it is good to know also that beta blockers may negate the effects. Okay, remember, we're going to be affecting our beta receptors. So if we're giving a beta blocker and we're trying to stimulate it at the same time with epinephrine, then it might really negate the effect of that beta blocker. Now, an easy way to try to remember this, okay, remember epinephrine, another name for this is adrenaline. Okay, and these are going to affect our adrenergic receptors, which are part of our sympathetic nervous system and fight or flight response. Okay, so adrenaline, adrenergic. Uh, if you think of that, adrenaline is another name for epinephrine. So that can help you really kind of remember this adrenergic response, sympathetic nervous system, and just adrenaline. And think of adrenaline like whenever you know, whenever you have a lot of adrenaline, you're really excited, you're really anxious. So that can help you think fight or flight response. And just keep in mind that that the sympathetic nervous system, this fight or flight response, is part of our autonomic nervous system. The other division of our autonomic nervous system is the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the rest and digest, okay? So it's really going to be this complete opposite effect of resting and digesting, and that's, you know, some of the reasons we're going to give it. You know, if our patient needs to breathe better, if our patient needs to increase their heart rate, those are some of the reasons we're going to give it. We want to elicit this fight or flight response in our patient. This has been another episode of the MedMaster Podcast by NRSNG.com. To get our free cheat sheet covering the 50 most commonly prescribed medications, head over to NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. That's NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you for being part of the NRSNG family. We're here to help you succeed in nursing school and in life. So start your journey today over at NRSNG.com slash 50 meds. We're glad to have you aboard. You know what time it is now. It's time to go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing, y'all.